I got called up yesterday and then managed to book myself in today so that was very very swift um, sadly though it seems that as an adult you don't get treated with sweets after your jab um, so to give myself a pat on the back I'm now going to buy myself some pastries <laughs> I'm just trying to roll myself closer to the window so that I'm a bit more well lit. Um, I'm in the studio, as you can see. I'm the last one here because it is Friday, so most people do tend to sort of do a half day. It's also in just incredibly bleak outside, so I don't think anyone actually wants to leave the house and come into the studio today. And I don't blame them, but I have been here this afternoon editing together the flat tour, and heartbreakingly, I'm really unhappy with it. I... I just don't think it's right. It just seems really lacklustre and just dull. Um, and if I'm honest, I'm really quite tired today. I feel properly shattered. And I think that is a side effect of the vaccine from yesterday. The nurse did say the most common side effect that most people um, have said that they've experienced is feeling tired. Didn't sleep very well last night and I do feel feel bad today um so when i'm when i'm like this when i'm tired and i'm trying to edit and work i'm not seeing things through like fresh eyes i get really frustrated when things aren't going right um i feel like i don't judge things properly so basically if i feel like something looks rubbish i can't get out of that frame of mind and that's what i've been like today trying to just edit it together like keep trying to edit it differently and like jazz it up a bit and like color grade it so it looks sunnier because I also have to say, it's so bleak outside today, like, it's just pouring with rain for like two days straight now, and that is frustrating because it means the light in the flat is really dull. Um, so I've been trying to like colour grade the vlog so much to kind of at least make it look a little bit brighter and sunnier, but it's just not, it's not good enough. So I think I'm just going to leave it in refilm tomorrow because I think, oh, I had a bit of a weird noise then. I think if I do that, then I can start again tomorrow with fresh eyes and I will feel a lot more positive about it. And I will feel like I'm producing something that I'm happy to put out. Whereas I just don't think I would be happy putting out the vlog tour that I've, um, not vlog tour, flat tour that I've edited today. So yeah, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to go home and put my comfies on and get some other jobs done because I've got plenty of other things that I can get done this evening and um, make myself a nice dinner, I think. And then hopefully I'll sleep well tonight and then I'll wake up tomorrow morning with fresh eyes and I can bring you all the flat tour. Hi there, I'm Brittany and we're here in the beautiful 12 degrees and rainy Norwich where the Met Office have declared summer will be indoors this year. Let's have a look around, shall we? This spacious living room, devoid of all colour, features a beige modular sofa, a black and beige Tilco sideboard owned by every influencer and their dog. Above this characterful fireplace is a six-month-old Christmas wreath. There's also a full-length mirror, ideal for perfecting those Instagram selfie poses. You'll also find beautiful original Georgian features, including these privacy shutters, because an online personality needs her privacy. Let's head in to the dining room and kitchen, shall we? The kitchen has an oven. Ah, the sweet smell of your lonely existence. The pan
pantry cupboard houses the trendiest selection of rippled glassware and Instagram's drink of the summer, orange wine. This period property has not one, but two bathrooms in case you grow tired of continuously washing in the same room. Unique to a property of this kind is the catwalk length hallway to help perfect that walk. There's also a spacious bedroom, a junk room for all the free influencer stuff. And a minimally designed outside gravel area to soak up those sunny British rays. I am so embarrassing and unfunny, literally. I don't know why anyone is friends with me. <laughs> um, all jokes aside, now that that real estate style skit is done, I'll do, I'll try and do like a swift walkthrough because you've seen all of the rooms individually, but you haven't seen how you get through the space and get to each of the rooms. I think it will be interesting to show you because I personally think it's, the flat has quite an unusual layout. So it's within this huge Georgian building that's about five or six floors. I'm on the ground floor, but the building has an extension on the back. So all of the flats have an extension um, and it's, it's, it's quite new. I don't know exactly when the extension was built, but there's a real difference between the original building and the extension. The front, so it's like the front half of the flat is old and has all the original features and is lovely. And then the back is like brand new, still lovely, but there's a real difference. It's hard to explain, but when I walk through the flat, I'll, you'll see that you kind of all of a sudden just step into this, the back and you're like, oh, it's different. Um, it just feels, there's, there's a dif different feel to it. Um, but yeah, I just think giving you an overall kind of overview of the layout will kind of you'll have better understanding, I think, of how the flat works, basically. This is where the flat begins, or well, this is where you enter the flat. This is technically my front door um, within the building. I won't show you the front of my door. But yes, you get to walk into a hallway space, which is such a luxury. I've never lived somewhere that has a, a front hallway. I've always lived in places where you walk straight into a kitchen or straight into a front room. So this is such a treat because I then have a space to hang coats. This is where I sort of hang everyday coats and then have everyday shoes down the bottom there. It's just so good to have a space where you can kind of dump stuff, take your coat off, take your shoes off and then go into the flat. What I'll do is I'll back up and I will turn around so my back is now to the front door. So you can either go straight forward and that leads into the dining space and then the remainder of the flat or you can turn left which takes you into what I like to call the showstopper of the flat. So this is the front room and it is my favourite room within the house. So I'm going to try and keep the camera as steady as possible. So you will have all seen this space many many times before. It is the living room and it is the room that I have given the most attention to if I'm honest. It's You will see as you go through the flat no other room has had as much attention as this. I love it in here so much because I spend so much time in here when I first moved in this room was my priority. So I did quite swiftly try and get this furnished and looking uh, livable because I knew I'd spend a lot of time in here. Got my big L-shaped sofa from Hay. I've got coffee table, sideboard, you know, you've kind of all seen this stuff already. I will, I'm not gonna say where everything is from in this tour because I will be here forever. So I will link as much as I can in the description box and if I miss off anything, please do leave a comment and I will get back to you, obviously. Um, but it's such a big space. I have mentioned before, I think, how I've kind of struggled to fill this space because I've never worked with a living room this big. I've never had the task of filling such a big space. I mean, I've struggled to fill these, let alone the room itself. I'm really pleased with it. Um, it's such a shame it's not a sunny day because the light in here when the sun comes through is absolutely beautiful. Wreath is still up. <laughs> um, but yeah, if I turn around, you can kind of see, I mean, I've just shown you this, but that's the door that leads back into the hallway. So let's proceed through and go into the dining space. A quick disclaimer to those of you that didn't watch the previous vlog. My dining space does not usually look like this. It only looks like this because 
This week I have turned myself into a one woman Depop machine and this is where I've kind of set everything up. This is all of the stuff that's going on to Depop. I've got my printer ready to go to print off the shipping labels, laptop, pens, packaging. I'm weirdly looking forward to this just because I'm so organised. I just think I'm going to do this so smoothly in comparison to other Depop uploads I've done where I've sort of panicked and not had enough packaging. I am literally ready to go Sunday. As soon as people start buying, I can start packaging. Anyway, I digress. Let's talk about the dining space. So yeah, usually that is my dining table and that's where I sit and eat dinner and usually have more stuff on there about the moment. It looks like this, but you kind of get an idea of what the dining space is like. It feels very, very um, dull to me still. I need to get some more plants. I need to get some more bits on the walls. I've just really slowed down when it comes to kind of decorating and stuff because I don't know, I just, I haven't, I feel like I haven't really had the time for it. Um, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a quick process, does it either? I feel like these kinds of things do take time. So most of the other rooms, as you will see, have taken quite a back seat and they don't look quite as nice as the front room. Um, I really need to sort out this. That's way too high and just, yeah, I need more pictures on the walls, a bit more colour in here, some more green. I've got one plant and a chair, but apart from that, it is all quite plain. Um, you will also see in this flat, there is an abundance of storage, which is amazing, but it's all very short storage. So lots of shelves and short cupboards. I don't have any tall storage. So these are my photo, uh, like photography backdrops. I've got nowhere to store them. So they just end up leaning up in a corner somewhere. These two pantries are awesome. This one houses junk, um, literally like, you know, you just need that space where you have paint, tools, just bits and pieces, boxes for things. You know, there's always a cupboard that has your iPhone box in and your camera box and things like that. Iron, other photo bits, just, yeah. And you've already seen the, the wine cupboard. And then if I back up, actually, I'll oh, this, this window, I'll just talk about this. Beautiful, massive window. Again, I'm so gutted because the sun, when it comes around this side, is incredible. Lights up this entire room and it's so, so nice in here. If I back up, so I've now got my back to the pantry door. This is the kitchen area. Um, it's such a good kitchen. It literally has everything I need in it. It's got two fridges. There's a fridge here. There's a fridge at the very end. I've got an oven. I've got a dishwasher. There's a washing machine hiding in one of these cupboards. Just so much storage. It's pretty incredible. Um, but yeah, that's the kitchen. I don't really know what else to say about the kitchen. My Brabantia bin, um, shelf with pans and that on. An absolute beast of an extractor. I think, sorry, disclaimer, these bottles, these have been consumed in the past uh, year. I, I just wanted to say that because people will see that and just think, wow, okay, Brittany. And they're all bottles, some of them are bottles from friends that I've collected because I just really like the look of the bottle. Um, but I think I might actually get, you know, like one of those plants that sort of droops down there, maybe. Let's proceed through here. So this door leads you to, oh, the light's already on, the first of two bathrooms. This is kind of, oh, kind of a kind of shower, almost like utility room. It's an unusual shape, so it's hard for me to kind of get inside and show you the room fully, but as you can see, there is a shower, a lovely bunch of eucalyptus here, towel, rail, storage bit, and then on the left-hand side here, there's loads of cupboard storage. And then there's a sink, and then there's more cupboard storage. Over here is a pile of beauty stuff that I'm waiting to try. This, when I get sent new beauty stuff, booty, beauty stuff, or buy new bits, I kind of have a little pile of stuff, so it's a, a queue. I'll just show you some bits, shall I? Because I feel like people find these kind of interesting. Sorry, the light in here is really weird. Some grown alchemist exfoliator, a 111 skin mask, this new hair brand, which I've not heard of before, have sent me some hair care bits to try. Um, a nail repair, because my nails aren't in the best more grown alchemist bits. Um, I got some, some honest beauty bits as well. So this is kind of like the, the queue of things to try out. Um, this brand here sent me some face masks. Oh, and my, my favourite, favourite body cream, this uh, Beauty Pie Super Healthy Skin. 
brand new tub ready to go. Um, just some nice hand wash and you know other bits. I know people like to see these kinds of things. So that oh, and behind the door here is the toilet. Very very riveting for you all. So I will shut this door, turn that off. From this bathroom we then turn into the hallway so this is what i was trying to explain about when it turns from old to new literally there is a line <laughs> where it goes from old original features to brand new extension so this is the hallway as you can see on the left here have a window the light is always really nice in here actually when the sun's out this on the floor here is a blind that needs to be put up here just so when it is really really sunny sometimes and I'm in this room I just want to diffuse the light a little bit I can candle vase plant okay this door here so this flat has a total of four exits and entrances there are four ways you can get in and out of the flat this is the second one obviously the first one I showed you was the front door this is kind of like the side door that leads to the car park and the lift I never ever use this door I'll show you because it was easier than trying to explain. There's the lift and then through that door is the car park. I don't use this door because I have no need to and I obviously don't need to use the lift. It only really gets used if like maybe a courier needs to use it. Ahead of me you have the option to go straight into what is my bedroom or on the left here there is a spare room which I think is collectively known as um, a moniker room. That is the term that everyone uses with rooms like these. We all have either these kind of rooms or cupboards or spaces within our house that just turn into dumping grounds. Um, because I have that studio space now, I don't feel the urge to really turn this into a studio, um, an office. So it is the dumping room. I did actually offer this room to my sister. When I first moved in I said to her you can come live with me if you like until you have to go back to Australia and she actually declined so obviously she doesn't like me as much as I thought she did. So now it is just where the stuff lives. Nothing of excitement is in here. There's a rail with coats on, ironing board, drying rack, desk with just stuff that hasn't been sorted out yet. These are some light pendants that I got for the front room that are far too big, so I'm having to sort out getting those returned, which is proving to be a bit of a headache. Just packaging up bits up there that I saved for Depop. A delightful doormat, and then some uh, double doors that lead out into a gravel area, which I will show you when we go into the bedroom. So that is the spare room. Turn around, go left, into the bedroom which is a room that you've seen many many times before but I'll just recap so this is the room that I use as my bedroom sorry my bed's really messy today so I have literally done nothing with this room whatsoever apart from put one picture up and replaced the lampshade that was here aside from that like it's it's very very simple I don't really spend any time in here so I haven't felt the urge to put anything in here but I do intend to get some other additional furniture bits. I've literally got a lamp, the floor lamp there, bedside table. Like even my bed covers are really boring. I could have at least got something interesting to put on my bed. But yeah, I'm thinking about things that I can do with this area here or potentially this area here, but it's not really something I'm feeling that urgent to get done yet. And But the, the best thing about this bedroom, not only is the size great and it obviously has the all these built-in wardrobe bits here. I have an ensuite. I have never, ever, ever experienced the joy of having an ensuite. It makes the stumble to the toilet in the middle of the night when your eyes are glued shut so much more <laughs> easier. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I mean, I'll show you. It's got a bath, a bath, and it's a really big bath. And it's just, oh my God, it's just so, so nice. I probably average about one to two baths a week at the moment. Um, but I, I'm humble brag but honestly it's almost too big for me I'm five foot three and I can't sit upright in it because I just slide down so I, I need to get something here that I can like almost as like a foot stopper thing but yes this is my bathroom lovely bath caddy with bits and pieces on my favorite Suzanne Kaufman bath oil my favorite body oil uh, what else can I show you lovely bunch of eucalyptus again towels this print is from Oh, this is from the Botanical Garden in Copenhagen. Yeah, I got it in the gift shop. When you, when you first walk through the gates, when you 
go in, you see a big gift shop and they sell lots of lovely prints. What else can I show you in here? Sink, mirror, cupboard, which really needs sorting out. There's lots of things in here that, that just don't get used that I could really do with sorting this out. Um, on this tray are some of my favourite bits, again, that I use. Aesop toner, Slow Dance by Barredo, my favourite fragrance, Act deodorant, Aesop um, Primrose mask, some Suzanne Kaufman bits, and then just makeup. But that is the flat tour. It looks like it is absolutely going to chuck it down any minute now. So I'm going to wrap up this vlog so I can run to the studio before it starts raining and start editing this all together. Thank you so much for watching this week. I hope you enjoyed this vlog, you nosy lot. Um, I totally get it though. I love stuff like this. I love seeing where people live and having a good nose around people's houses and flats and whatnot. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if, you, if you are watching this vlog sort of like just as it has been published, I, I'm just gonna let you know once more, I know a lot of people already know this, today I'm going to upload a lot of stuff on Depop, a lot, a lot of stuff. And I'm doing it in two uploads, there'll be one at 11 a.m. and there'll be one at 7 p.m. So hopefully I can cover all time zones, everyone gets a chance. I am shipping internationally, but it is extremely expensive. Well, it, it's a roughly around 20 pounds, depending on what the item is, how big it is, how heavy it is, but it, it, the starting price does tend to be about £20 for international shipping. But there are many bargains to be had though, um, and in some cases it might actually be cheaper for you to buy items from me than it is to buy from shops, if that makes sense. Anyway, I just wanted to let people know again, and I know it feels like I've been talking about this loads, I mean I did a whole vlog about it pretty much, but the reason is, is because stuff goes so, so quickly. I mean like things go within seconds of them being uploaded. And then people message me saying that they're gutted that they didn't know about it, or they're gutted that they missed out. So I feel like if I just keep banging on about it, everyone is aware, and I'm giving everyone as much reminding as I can. Um, and I'll put something on Instagram as well, kind of letting people know that I'm about to go live on Depop. So yeah, that is that. I hope you all had a good week and you're having a good weekend. I can't remember if I've already said that. Um, there will not be two vlogs next week because t this week was an absolute fluke. So it'll be back to Sunday uploads next week. Anyway, I will bid you all farewell um, and I shall see you all next week. Bye.